Hello there, my name is Ismas, and today we're going to be looking at some of the new exciting features coming up in Blender 3. Uh, so hold on to your cubes, uh, to your default cubes, as we are going to dive in into some of the most exciting features uh, coming up. Uh, we are starting here with the sculpting tools. Uh, you can see they have just released a video showcasing some of the features uh, that are coming up. They have added a brush that can duplicate any mesh you select and uh, create an array or duplicates of that object without using any modifiers as you can see in the demo here so this i think is going to be quite useful for especially if you're creating something that uh, uh, needs a lot of duplications and to have uh, that uh, symmetry a uh, radio symmetry and uh, you can also just use it to duplicate anything as you want and i think this is one of the most exciting features uh, that is going to come up in blender 3 so another, so another feature that is coming up in blender 3 is the asset library this is something that we have been anticipating for a while and uh, it has always been, been been postponed further and further but hopefully this is not going to be postponed any further uh, because i think it is now in its mature state and uh, finally we might be seeing it in uh, uh, blender 3.0 this is the asset manager and uh, yeah so you'll be able to import things and uh, reuse them as you wish uh, they're adding more features to this uh, being able to generate previews adding uh, deformations for your models or creating character poses you can also uh, save those into your asset library in blender 3 you will have the ability to, to pack linked libraries into your blend file uh, in the same way as you pack textures uh, so currently in blender 9.3 so you can see i'm working on this project here and uh, if i use my asset library uh, to link in let's see let me see this lamp here actually this is going to be imported as an object i want a linked object so i'll just go into my collection and find save furniture let me get this here yeah, so you can see that uh, this is a linked object and uh, if I save this and handed it to someone else uh, to use it with it is just Blender is only going to pack uh, the textures it's not going to pack uh, this model because it's from a different project uh, if I can open it here the original project so this here this chair here is linked from this project uh, in a different location so if you say external pack into blender it will just pack only the textures but not uh, any linked assets so, meaning that if you sent this project to a different person to someone else on a different computer they will open up the project but uh, they will not have this asset in there because it wasn't part of the project it was simply linked into the project and this has been fixed by adding uh, this uh, pack link libraries or uh, unpack link libraries so that when you pack into blend file the link asset will also be packed with the textures so, so that you only have to transfer one file to whoever you are collaborating with on a project and that then when they open up the project they will have it intact without any missing files yeah so there are quite a lot of uh, features that are coming up i'll be leaving a link in the description and i'll maybe make more videos talking about these features in more details also showing you how you can use them but the, the most exciting ones are the uh, sculpting tools and uh, this the asset library the asset browser and the and this here so thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video